The single leg squats are dynamic assessments testing rider stability during a movement like a pedal stroke. Instruct the rider to lift one leg behind them. Have the rider extend their arms out to the sides or place them on their hips. Then bend at the knee as far down as they are comfortable and come right back up. Range of motion is determined by the depth of the squat. If a rider cannot reach a one-third knee bend depth, their range of motion is limited. Full range of motion is when the rider can achieve at least one-third or more bend in their knee. The upper limit of the full range of motion is nearing half bend in the knee. A rider who can bend their knee more than half or even deeper flexion has a significant range of motion. Stability is based on knee and hip movement. If their knee has significant lateral movement and the hips significantly dip and twist, their stability is limited. If the knee and hips have mild movement, mark the rider's stability as full. If the rider has little to no movement in the knee and hips, mark them as significant stability. On the bike, unstable knee tracking is typically a result of foot collapse. Since most riders have forefoot varus and flexible arches that collapse, most will show some degree of valgus knee movement as they perform their knee bend. Remember that their foot is unsupported by their shoes, so they must work to stabilize their knee on their own. That is why this assessment is a powerful predictor of how they may pedal on the bike, by showing you what the rider can do to stabilize on their own. This series of dynamic movements relates directly to pedaling mechanisms on the bike. The cumulative result of the rider's flexibility and stability determines the rider's personalized ranges for the on-bike fitting. The assessment forces stabilizers to work a little harder than if the rider is on the bike because they are unsupported by any equipment. This movement provides you with considerable information relating to how a rider will pedal their bike. Proper positioning for this assessment is important, as the rider will only be supported on one foot. Suggest that they stand near the assessment table in case they feel they need to grab it to prevent falling over, but do not allow them to hold on to the table while performing the squat. Anything the rider does to support themselves, like holding the table, will help them maintain stability and will not show a true example of their ability to fully stabilize themselves.